Before you ask, yes, this video is in low quality and low audio quality because right now my internet is being worse than ever. Um, but if you didn't see my video, a little update. So, Samsung tablet. This thing, it keeps an awesome charge. It actually keeps a better one than my already very good charge tablet, which is my... Ugh, Samsung Galaxy Tab 2, 10.1 inch. Um, yeah, there's that. Um, and then an update. Um, so, I'm saying um a lot. Whoops. I did show um, this little next book piece of garbage. And I heard that they're actually kind of okay in terms of performance. And the battery life is kind of bad, but... Yeah, so I've been trying to use it, and update, this is still here. Oh, and that happened. That's fun. This thing is really weak. Um, I literally, I can bend it with my bare hands without even putting that much strength on it. Wow. But yeah, there's eight more attempts. I've been trying to get into the bootloader. I tried applying updates from the SD card. I, I tried everything. There's no way to bypass it, at least that I know of, without just without just um, getting the activation code. <coughs> it's so annoying. I've tried factory resetting it to reset the pin attempts, but that doesn't work either because it's baked into the system. My best guess is that it's actually baked into what uh, either the processor or something else that is not really hard drive related. Um, or it could have a separate hard drive that is overlapping the current one to block people from using it. Which is a shame because um, after reading some forms, a lot of people were mad about this. And to my knowledge, Walmart does not do this anymore. At least, I think. Um, maybe it does in some countries, but I don't think they do this anymore. Because this thing is old, and forms about this type of thing happening have stopped happening in, like, 2019. Because, like, some forms, the um, questions about bypassing this stuff, like, I've seen most of them stop in 2018 or 19. So, really seems like Walmart got terrible feedback about these tablets. Um, so, yeah, if you go to a Walmart looking for a cheap tablet, avoid these two companies. Next book and apparently RCA, um, because this will be on them. Because no one, really no one keeps their receipts, so of course no one's going to get their activation code. We've, uh, me and Mike, who's the guy who gave it to me, we've both tried the number and the website, and I found the model number for it, which is what they basically want you, on, uh, want you to give them on the website, and it doesn't work. The website's broken. So, yeah, that's fun. So, yeah, um, if you have one of these, just smash it or something for a cool video because there's nothing you can do. These things are basically piles of plastic junk and e-waste. And especially these Nextbook tablets that have this, the battery's terrible. It charges slow and dies heaps quick um, because I had it charged to 38% earlier and it died I had to wait 40 minutes just to charge it, just so it would turn on. It won't turn on if you have 3% or below, and it's so dumb. And this is dumb in general. This stupid product requires activation code. That's so dumb. So, yeah, uh, if you're looking for a cheap tablet, don't get this. So, yeah. Enough about the tablet ramp, or rant. Um, here's the other thing. Oh that he gave me, which is the Z Angle 3. Not sure what generation this is. But, man, this smashes my Clever Bright. Because my Clever Bright, even if my friend didn't screw up the uh, woofer thing, which um, I apparently found out it's a multi-purpose after doing a little bit of research. It's not exactly a woofer, it's just a passive radiator and the air goes through some kind of tube or chamber that makes it vibrate and gives it extra sound. Um, I'm not really into speakers, I'm more into general technology. Not really speaker technology, just a general topic and basic and kind of more advanced tech advice and also knowledge. But 
in terms of speakers, not the best. But this, um, this one has a direct chamber into the uh, passive radiator, so it actually gets good bass pumped out of it. And it's got two speakers. Mmm, clever, Bright. You've only got one speaker, you dingus. And yes, I watch Dank Pods. <laughs> um, but, yeah, this thing gets pretty loud, and the battery's been lasting heaps long. And again, the Samsung tablet. I've actually updated it, um, and it might be getting Android 9 soon. Mmm, Apple! Why don't you update your old phones? Oh, right, you do, except you slow them down. This one, it does lag a little bit sometimes because it is a cheapo tablet, but it doesn't lag as bad as the tablets that are more powerful, um, which, not the Samsung ones, but there's an iPad that's more powerful than this, and yet it slowed down from iOS 14. It's so stupid. It runs like two and a half times slower than this thing. It's, it's ridiculously dumb. Um, Samsung, I don't think they intentionally slow down their devices. I know they have done it in the past for some of them, but I don't think they're doing it with these ones yet, maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe they'll go off in the same direction like Apple because Apple is a poison. But, mm, yeah. This thing has been great so far, though. Um, it's speaker, yeah, it's got one speaker. But I don't really care, because the speaker is actually kind of bassy for what it is. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. But the other cool part is that this thing supports freaking multi-window, like floating window. Hold on. There we go. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a. Uh, I don't think Pixie Tracker likes it. Oh, God. I forgot that was on almost max. Eh, eh, X. X out of it. X out of it. Come on. Ugh. How do you know Pixie Tracker is not meant for this? There we go. But yeah, this thing's pretty good. The camera is a little to be... Mm, it's not the best, but it is a cheap tablet. It's better than a Kindle, though. I would, like... I would rather have this over a Kindle any day. Uh, because this thing has so much bloatware, so much crap software on it, and it's just a mess. But, however, one thing the Kindle does do better, charging. This charges actually quite slow, um, or maybe it's just because, you know, we're used to the fast charging now. But, man, this thing takes about two and a half hours to charge, which is, which is actually not bad, because, oh, boy, this old nugget right here takes five hours to charge. Mmm, isn't that nice? <laughs> um, but this thing has more battery capacity. When I was looking around the settings, this is a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. Um, oops, I just spoke in British. Whoopsie. I guess that's what happens when you watch Kevin Tallboat, Dank Paws, and whatever British and Australian YouTubers too much. Um, but this is a 4,850 milliamp battery. Um, so the tablet, the Samsung, has a little bit more. And the brightness gets pretty bright um, without, you know, without making it too high. See, yeah, I don't need to have it too high just for it to get bright. And this has a SIM card slot. So if I really wanted to and I didn't really want to turn my phone's hotspot on for whatever reason, or I had like an extra data plan or something, um, I could I could just put a SIM in here and be on with my day. This is an older version of Android, so I could actually probably um, get some kind of service on it for free because I did do this with one of my old, old phones before it broke. Um, which had a SIM card, and I got some free data on it. Although it worked like half the time. But yeah, although this video dragged on longer than I thought, that's just a quote-unquote quick update on what's been going on. So yeah.